Hey up guys, my name's Ben, I'm the host of Stoke City Podcast, the YYY Files, and I'm here to preview our game with you guys, Watford, for the Watford Way Podcast. What do I think of Watford this season? Well, you guys are up there, as I'd expect you to be. To be honest, I thought you'd be more run away than you have been, or maybe that was a bad initial first impression, considering that we were in a similar position to you when we came down uh, two years ago now, I think. And... Like you, we had a squad full of amazing players like you guys have got Ishmael Assar. Uh, you guys have still got Troy Deeney, who is fantastic at this level still. You guys have got Ben Foster in goal. And you've got so many great players. Yes, some of them are still yet to come back from injury. But we had players like Jack Butland, Joe Allen. We signed Ben Akafobi, Tom Ince, Sam Klukas. All fantastic at championship level. And really, we should have stormed the league with people like Gary Rowett. Uh, in charge of us and we really didn't we really really struggled to, to just to get anywhere near the playoffs and then we struggled the following season with Nathan Jones in charge and I I wonder whether to some extent and I, it's, it's very early on in the season to say so whether you guys may struggle with the problem that we had of keeping these Premier League quality players motivated to play for you in the championship now if you're winning week in week out I I imagine that you'll be fine <laughs> um I, you have been fine you know you're in the right places there they're about the same sort of places that we are in the championship at the moment um and on paper yes I'm very very scared of you but I know that the effect that relegation can have on a team for motivation uh, for morale and I can see why your games have been quite cagey recently and I can see why you've had results that you know you you might wish to have done better with to be honest especially at this relatively pressure free uh, time of the season um in terms of Stoke we've done pretty well as I say we're there thereabouts um in terms of where we are in the table um pushing for playoffs which is the first time we've done that since we come down uh from the Premier League in 2018 uh, we possibly got one of the weakest squads in terms of names since coming down. You know, we've let people like Jack Butlin go. Uh, ben Ekfobe has gone alone, who was well, a great name for us. Tom Ince isn't in the team anymore. Joe Allen is injured. And yet we're possibly playing the best football that we've played since 2016, probably. Like People like Harry Suter at the back. Young, 21-year-old lad, massive. You won't miss him on the pitch. He's been absolutely stellar for us. Adam Davis in goal, um, although, albeit he's injured now, uh, was fantastic in goal for us. Uh, Angus Gunn coming in and kept a clean sheet on his full debut for Stoke. I'm really impressed with him too. Stephen Fletcher, what a free signing he was from Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, he's looked class since he's joined. He's one of those centre-forwards that... You'd think he'd be, you know, all brawn, no brain, but he's got that hold-up play that is able to bring people like James McLean, uh, Tyrese Campbell into the game from the wings. And it's fantastic to see those guys are doing very well. People like Tyrese Campbell, James McLean, Jacob Brown, they've got pace up front, and that's something to be really, really wary of. Um, in midfield, Sam Klukas has created some of the most championships per minute in the game this season. Uh, he's injured at the moment. I'm not sure whether he'll be back in time to face you. Uh, Jordan Thompson, nice, a nice young lad who seems to have been doing pretty well in the middle midfield. John Ivan McCall, fantastic signing once again on a free transfer who's been really holding the midfield up and has been that defensive midfield that we've been missing for a number of years now. Um, Josh Tymon has been dropping in at left back for us, a young lad who's been doing very well. It's either been him or Morgan Fox or James McLean at left back. Um, the only real fixture we have in the team is Tommy Smith. And that's because he's the only right back we have. Otherwise, the whole team could, it's unlikely to, but could chop and change. I'm expecting to see Angus Gunning goal, Smith at right back. Probably Morgan Fox at left back. And then you're looking at people like Danny Bart, James Chester maybe coming back, um, Harry Souter, Nathan Collins at centre back. Uh, probably John over McCallum midfield, maybe Sam Klukas if he's fit. Um, if not, people like Jordan Thompson, Jordan Cousins, uh, Tashan Oakley Booth as well. Uh, left midfield, we've got people like James McLean, Josh Tymon, um, who can also play at left back, as I mentioned. 
um, right wing, we've got Tyrese Campbell, who's fantastic, Jacob Brown. And then up front, we've got uh, Stephen Fletcher, Sam Vokes, Lee Gregory. All good players. All very good players, in my opinion. No one particularly outstanding, but that's what I like about this Stoke team. Um, it's the manager that's really standing out for us, Michael O'Neill. He's been absolutely fantastic since he came in considering that this time last year this time last year as i'm recording this we were rock bottom of the league with two wins to our name after 14 games um now we've got 15 points after nine and it's looking really really positive we've been in playoff form since he joined um you know given it's been about a year since he that he's been at the club and we probably would have finished in a playoff position had he been at the club sooner 56 points last season plus the 15 it, you're getting pretty close um so i'm i'm very very pleased with michael o'neill at stoke city as all stoke fans are at the moment um he could probably stay here for as long as he wants um in terms of injuries i've mentioned um adam davis out um sam Klukas is a doubt joe has been a doubt for a very very long time he's been out with an acl injury um i, I don't think he'll be ready to come back yet um ryan shawcross long term I, Absentee. I don't think he'll be back on the side. Probably got a couple of niggles as well from the game against Rotherham. Um, but on the whole, we've got a pretty strong squad. And no matter who drops out or who comes in, I'm relatively confident that Stoke could get a result against you guys. I think it's going to be a game where there's a lot of class on show. Uh, you've got a load of good players. Ishmael Lazar, I'm particularly scared of. Um, normally on the left side of the defence, we play someone quite slow, someone older. So maybe Chester, Danny Bart. You know, not completely immobile, but Saar will probably tell him apart. So hopefully we manage to deal with that. Um, but on the whole, I think it's going to be a good show. Like I say, two quality teams, really. One, in your case, in the terms of the players you have. Um, and two, just, just the force that we are at the moment. Don't get me wrong, we're not absolutely battering teams, but we are winning games and we're looking comfortable in them too. And we won't grab the headlines, I don't think, but... This game may well do. I, I can't see a load of goals, but I can see it being a very well-played affair. Um, I might be completely wrong, of course. Both teams might be trash on the day. But I'm expecting a good, quality, entertaining 1-1 draw between us both. And i take that. And I know that some of you guys probably would as well. Um, but then it's early on in the season. And who knows what's in store for both of us. You know, both looking for promotion uh, probably you guys more expected to do so. I expected you to walk the league, to be honest. Um, but then, of course, I know that Stoke have been in your position before. And it is difficult in the Championship, as you guys are accustomed to. I know you're not silly. Um, anyway, that's been it, I think. Thank you very much for watching this preview. Thank you to the Watford Way for asking me to be on this preview. Uh, you can check out the Stoke podcast, the YYY files, if you'd like. A uh, bit different to your regular podcast, but you know, feel free to check out some fine stories if you like. Uh, that's it. Best of luck for the weekend. Uh, although not too much luck, we'd still like to beat you. But otherwise, best of luck for the season. Thank you for having me on and thanks for watching.